the ketones are actually the name of the homologous series and the functional group that the ketones have is what is known as the carbonyl group right which is just a carbon double bonded to oxygen but it must be in the middle of a molecule so in other words this cannot be on the last carbon or the first carbon it must be in the middle so if we want to look at an example of that the simplest ketone that we find is actually propanone right um, containing three carbons and so I'm going to write out the name here and by now you can already tell me because it says prop if you go to your organic chemistry summary sheet that we've introduced to you in the past videos prop means three carbons right propan is says there are single bonds between the carbons and own tells you that it is a ketone right O N E um, if we look at propanone we don't really need to say on which carbon um, atom the double bond O is because the simplest version of a ketone can only be propanone and you can only put it in the center because the moment you move this double bond oxygen here, double bond O, the moment you move it to this carbon, the last carbon or the first carbon, it is no longer a ketone, it becomes an aldehyde, right? And so this is the simplest ketone as you can see. This is the simplest ketone, um, known as propanone. So let's look at another one. Let's look at butanone. Now, butanone is also, um, we don't need to say where the, the, the double bond OE is because there's also only one possibility of butanone. It's butan 2 own, which I'm going to write over there, butan-2-ohn, dash dash right? And I'm going to show you how to name them as well if I do the reverse. So this indicates that there's one, two, three, four carbons on the second carbon there's a double bond oxygen, and then every other carbon atom has four bonds around it, uh, like so. Okay, and similarly over there, and you can see you cannot have more than four bonds around it. Now, if you had to name this, you'd have to number closest to the functional group. And so there you put number one, there you put number two, there you put number three, here you put number four. And so but tells me that there are four carbons single bonds between the carbons it becomes butan and it's a ketone so the name must end in own or one and you need to indicate that it's in the second carbon now you don't need to put the number two in if there's only one possibility now if i had to move this to number three the rules of numbering changes we would have to number our molecules starting from this side and then once again the ketone is on the second carbon okay now let's look at examples of pentanone and let's look at isomers thereof. So we will look at pentanone and you can get different types of that. You could get pentan-2-ohn. You could also get pentan-3-ohn and we'll look at each of those, right? So let's start. Let's draw out the number of carbons. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Right, on the second carbon, I've got double bond oxygen, single bonds between the carbon atoms, and then similarly over here. Right. Okay, so we number closest to the functional group and we'll say that's carbon 1, that's carbon 2, 3, 4, and 5. And on the second carbon we have the oxygen, double bond O. So we say there are five carbons, we name this as pent. I know we've done it already. There are single bonds between the carbon atoms, so it becomes pentan. And remember, this is all in your summary sheet, right? I just don't have it open, so I can't go back. Um, and then it's a key turn, so it must end in own, and it's on the second carbon. So that's pentanone. Now I want you to draw a pentan 3 ohm 